We're here in my father's orchard and uh, he's been kind of cultivating this orchard for a long time. He's got apples, he's got pears, peaches, apricots, uh, nectarines. Nectarines are my favorite. But he's also got apples too. And what we've noticed is this is this used to be a corral. So this used to be where, where uh, Anderson's Dairy was. And they had cows, they had cattle in here. And so it's a great place for an orchard. But the, the soil is kind of rocky. You know, the nutrient kind of drains through. And in a lot of cases we'll see a, a severe iron deficiency on on some of his trees and that's what we've got going on right now so this is an apple tree and as you can see right here this is a uh a perfect example of what iron deficiency looks like. It shows up in the newest growth first and then gradually works its way into the older growth. The tissue of the leaves will turn more of a yellow color, you know, kind of a pale green, then go to yellow, and the veins will stand out. So you get this dark green veining that will stand out. And that's a, a you know, perfect example of iron chlorosis or an iron deficiency. And as, as the deficiency gets worse, it will get it'll get almost pale, like there'll be no green left in the leaves whatsoever. So this, this tree is really struggling with uh, an iron chlorosis problem. But as you can see, there's there's leaves on the tree that are still green and healthy. And so it's it's the older growth that's, that's unaffected, but it gradually as it starts out here on this newest growth, it'll work its way back in and it'll start to show up on the older growth as well too. So we want to try and correct this problem before the fruit's you know, really ready to go. And, and we definitely want to correct the problem so the tree can pick up all the strength that it can possibly use through the leaves and when the leaves are iron deficient like this they are much more susceptible to wind and sunburn and you'll see a lot of damage on the tree as well too we want to we want to prevent that so one of the best products for doing that is this EDDHA iron chelate now this is a uh, pre-digested for the plants and so the chelated iron uh, this particular variety will work no matter what your soil type is or how high your soil pH is and in our area here in Cache Valley the soil pH is actually really pretty high it's usually between 7 and 8 and sometimes even higher this product will work no matter what that soil pH is so if your soil pH is above 7 this is one of the few products that will actually work on your on your trees because it the soil that that high pH it'll bind up the iron and make it so it's unavailable for the plants. It can be there in the soil, but the plants will never be able to utilize it because it's tied up in the soil. This is not tied up in the soil. It's almost instantly available to the plants and it, it works no matter what your soil conditions are. So this is an excellent product for doing it. We recommend that you use one ounce per inch of trunk diameter. So on this tree, it's a little bit hard to see down in there, but uh, as we look at the trunk, that trunk is about a two inch diameter trunk. And so I put four tablespoons of uh, the EDDHA in my handy dandy bucket here and two tablespoons is equal to an ounce. So if we've got a two inch tree, we want to put two ounces on there. Four tablespoons went in the bucket. I filled it up with water and as you can see, this product is blood red. And that's because there's so much iron in there and the iron is instantly available to the plants. Stir it up really well. It dissolves almost instantly in water. And then all you have to do is just water your tree with it. As you can see, it's, it's red. It looks like blood. We'll just water the tree with it. As you can see, there's a little bit of iron down in the bottom. I'll get a little bit more water. Rinse that up, mix it in water the, the tree with the rest of it and uh, in just a couple weeks it doesn't take very long it usually takes about two maybe three weeks for a tree this size maybe even a little bit quicker and uh, we'll watch those leaves go from pale yellow to a darker green and I'll correct our iron deficiency in just a short amount of time